guys, welcome back. So today what I wanted to do was kind of take this daytime look and turn it into a date night look. I look a hot mess. Um, this is after a few hours being out already running errands and whatnot and Sammy called me told me I have probably half an hour to get ready. Um, so I can't kind of wash it off and start from scratch. So what we're going to do is take an easy daytime look to nighttime. Um, excuse the noise if you hear the background of Javi Sayi out there watching his videos while I get ready before we take him to grandma's. So yeah, um, I'm thinking of doing a kind of smoked out, more grungy um, thing, but we'll see what it turns into. So first things first for my hair, um, because it's very short, um, I can't do much, but I have been enjoying doing a kind of little half up, half down top knot. Um, kind of messy, but yet still put together. So I'm going to do that first. So now that my hair is done, up out of the way, I just need to touch up with some hairspray, but that's upstairs, so I'll do that in a little bit. What I'm going to do is go over with some powder, especially on the spots where um, it's like a little too oily, my T-zone mainly, um, and just kind of touch up the bronzer, blush, wherever I may feel like it's lacking. Um, but main thing is cover up like my chin area and the dewiness on my nose. I don't expect this to like cover up as it would when I first apply and put my foundation um, just because that I would need to reapply I am fortunately I'm trying to find a foundation that doesn't melt off throughout the day um, today I used um, max studio liquid um, and it always on my chin first thing and around my nose is the first to go. Don't know why that happens, but it does, but it's whatever. I mean, I don't mind. I'm not like, oh my God, it has to be perfect and it's makeup. It is what it is. Um, so now what I'm going to do is kind of just darken up the shadow on camera. It looks a lot darker than it is. It's just a wash of gold and then I put uh, Max Rice Paper under the brow. It's picking up a lot more bold, I would say, on on camera, but um, it's really not. It's a really daytime, easy, mommy, five-minute makeup look, because that's legit how long it took me. So, if I can find it, huh, I'm going to go in with the same Morphe 350 palette that I've been obsessed with. I'm going to get the one of the darker, wetter browns. This one? No, I'm not. I'm gonna go in with this one. It's still like on the light brown. And I'm just going to put that all over. The lid, the on barely on the brow bone, like blending it up. Okay, go, Baba. Put the phone by the sink and go pee. And now what I'm gonna do is go around um, like the, where you would put normally your, what is that called? Eyeliner on the top and the bottom. And that's where I'm gonna go in with the darker, redder brown.
sorry if this video is very informal, but I thought I might as well take advantage. You know, it's real life. We can't always sit down and do full blown glam straight out the shower. Like sometimes plans come up in the middle of your day or right before dinner and you gotta switch it up. That's how it looks. It's like I got punched in the eyes. No, I'm kidding. Um, I know that it's, sorry if you hear you say he's screaming, he wants Sam to open the gate for him. And I'm not adding any more product, but I'm just going to, the line that I did put, blend it up onto the lid. I was saying. Oh well. And I'm going to put Blanc type, which is a matte, more white, nudie. Been feeling the mattes. Was going to add more brow stuff because I don't know if you could tell. But it's kind of patchy. Let me see if I can bring it close. There we go. Hi guys. See? And I I like this lighter to blend out. But not that I look like I have bald spots. So we're just going to fix that. A smidge. What the heck? I'm looking for my spoolie comb out my brows. I can't seem to find it. Can't find my normal spoolie, but I'm gonna go in with this little comb on this brush and just comb them out. Sometimes that'll do the trick. Like maybe if product started settling in a spot throughout the day or maybe I itched, I don't know in that spot, but yeah. So what I'm gonna do is just go with this Brow Stylist Plumper Brow Gel Mascara by L'Oreal. It's medium to dark. And just comb over lightly, cause to go back in with the dip brow and all that, I think it'd make them look a little Charlie Brownish. Now with the same little brush, after it dries a little bit, just a little bit, I'm going to comb it out. Okay, you know how I said this is real life? Like he just woke up, so, oh, so it'll be bad. Okay, so, Mikey woke up, I figured, I'll just change instead of having to go back upstairs, change, and come back down film again. So all I'm going to wear is this, well you can't see it from here, but it's a black loose tank top, kind of flowy, um, and then my homemade chugger. <laughs> so yeah. <sighs> I don't know where I was. Oh. I fixed my brows, so now that they're combed out, my eyes, I'm good. I'm going to add some falsies. Uh, not going to do liner today, just because sometimes I feel like you don't always gotta do liner. I don't feel like I need, I mean my bronzer and highlight and all that held up throughout the day. It's not patchy anywhere, and I feel like if I were to add more, it would just cake up. So my main thing was just like touching up my chin and that. And then obviously we're going to add a lip color, 
which I'm so excited to use. It's the Malibu from the Kylie, Kylie Jenner lip kits. So it comes with the pencil and the liquid lip. Um, my only oof with it is it the the caps on the liners aren't the most secure. I mean, it's like once you take it out the first time, then it's like a freaking pain in the night ass to make it stick, you know, like every other time. So that's my only like really big beef, I guess, with it. Uh, the They're really creamy. I, they're all around, I just like them. If you guys want a more in-depth video, let me know in the comments down below. I do plan on doing a swatch video um, with the kits that I do have compared on my skin and my sister Jerica's skin, which is a lot, not a lot darker, <laughs> but she is more tan than I am. And I feel like certain colors look good on her that don't necessarily look so great on me and vice versa. Um, some of the pinkier ones look better on, not better, I shouldn't say better, but they, come up more pink on her than they do on me. They're more brown, if that makes sense. I don't know, whatever. But let me know if you guys want to see a video with that. Um, and I do plan to share this in a favorites video, but what I do use throughout the day instead of like regular lip gloss is the Moisture Lock by Milani. Love it. Um, so that definitely helps, especially if you use like matte lipsticks. It helps to kind of switch it up once in a while and use something that's going to put moisture back into your lips, which is that because it's infused with oil. So that's a little side note. I want to use this lipstick, but I don't know if we're going to. Because I don't know if I want something. Something. More bold, more bold, or if this is good, but Raska, we shall see. So far, so good. Once we put on our lashes, I do plan to go around the eye again, probably a little bit darker, either more heavy with the same brown or just a, a, a shade darker. Oh, I'm stuttering so freaking much. Um, now with my scissors. Everything's disappearing, guys. No. <sighs> Can't find nothing. It's the thing that sucks when you travel. If you guys hear Mikey crying, he just woke up not too happy from his nap because his brother woke him up. Screaming like an animal. And he has, we call him Mamitis. He just wants to be with mommy. And since I'm down here, he's not having it. Oh, snap. I thought I wasn't recording for a second. Um, I'm sorry, I'm so scatterbrained. But I legit forgot what I was going to say again. That happened. That really happened. Oh! That's what sucks when you travel is that you put things in your travel stuff and I am, I consider myself a very organized person and I thought that I put everything back but it's like certain, certain little things just didn't find their way home. Like to this room, they're in the house. I just, I don't know where. So, I do plan on doing a how to apply lashes video. Um, I can kind of zoom you guys in so you can see the gist of when I put them on if you can, because I tend to go down to the mirror. But I don't know if you can see, they don't come all the way in. Usually that's because I cut them because my eye is so little um, But in this case because I can't find my scissors I Make sure to start from the outside in meaning I put the lash on top of 
my natural lashes, kind of just like set them there, obviously when the glue is tacky. And I start adjusting from the outside in. So I make sure that the outside ones line up the very edge so that I don't get that poking sensation on the inside of my eye. Because one mistake I always used to make when I first started applying lashes was that I, I wouldn't cut them enough and then I wouldn't apply them to where they would go out to the inside. I would just kind of middle, inside, out. But it really does make a difference when you start from the outside in. And I say that because a lot of girls have this in common and it's like you want to apply falsies, you want the whole dramatic eye. But when that poking sends it, you just want to rip them off. Let's be real, girls. You just want to rip off your guys. You want to rip them off because it's so uncomfortable. You can't, like, you're like, <laughs> people are like, what's wrong with you? And you constantly feel it. Like, you want to be able to wear falsies and feel like you're not wearing them. That is one of the keys to wearing falsies, I think. Um, one of the key things to look forward to. So, get as close to your natural lash line as possible. Especially when you are not going to be adding liner um, because then it just looks funky. Like you have lashes growing out the middle of your lid. Like what? what is that? Alright, so I'm just going to darken up the edges with that same reddish, darker brown, but I'm going to use a smaller, denser packing brush. And I'm literally just going to pat that all around as if that were the liner. I try not to move your eye. And same thing underneath. And because we're using a more dense packing brush, you can definitely see that brick tone more. Um, in comparison to when we used a more fluffier brush to kind of blend it out. And it looks like there's a lot more dimension going on. I have, um, because my lids are like saggy, um, it has more of like that shadow. So it looks like I have product in my crease that's different from the rest of the lid. But it's not, um, it's just me. Huh. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh. Let's highlight a little bit. Earlier I used Soft and Gentle by MAC. Uh, today I'm going to use, uh, today. Now I'm going to just add Superb on top of it. Soft and Gentle is more of a whiter, uh, whiter, I don't know why I said it like that. A more of a whiter, um, what's it called, highlight. And this one's more of a, I can't lift it completely to show you because it's broken. Um, but it is more gold. Gold, rosy gold. Look at that. Woo! I like it, honey. Yes, I'm on that train. 
the first time I did it, I don't know if you can see, the first time I applied um, highlight to like my shoulders, my collarbone. Um, Sam was like, babe, why the hell are you all sparkly all over? He's like, what the heck? You got glitter all over your body. I was like, yes, babe. Jesus gave it to me. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. So that will complete this look. Let's see if I give you a closer look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial slash get ready with me slash chatty video, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know by giving it a thumbs up or letting me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see, whether it be a review on the lip kits, on how I do my eyebrows more in depth, or how I apply falsies more step by step in the lens, in your face, goodness. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see. Thanks for sticking with me through this whole transition of what we want this channel to be, whether it's just our vlogs, makeup, planners, stuff. Um, I'm thinking it's just gonna be everything because that's me. I mean, this channel is about my life. My life is my kids, my husband, my passion for makeup and planning. So if enjoy, um, get some type of entertainment, feel part of the family whatever it may be, but I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time, bye.